Okay. Good? All right. Gotta ask you, man. All right, what do you want to ask me? Why'd you quit YouTube? People, are, wa <laughs> people, are, people are waiting for <laughs> your videos. <laughs> This is Tokuyu TV, YouTuber and N1 Japanese expert. We met on Facebook of all places, back when he posted his very first video. So I guess you could say that I was one of his first fans. He started YouTube during the pandemic and continued posting during his move to Japan where he blew up. And just like the Avatar, when the world needed him the most, he vanished. Okay, that's Cap because I found him. So because he hasn't posted a video in a while, I wanted to ask why, first of all, and also, what his experiences have been like living in Japan for the past couple of years. And of course, if you like content like this, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and follow me on all my other platforms. Let's get into it. Your number one fan, me, has been waiting for your next video. Well, you, can't, you can't do me like that. Yeah, I got it. I, the people need to know. I didn't quit YouTube. Okay, wait, no, no, no. We're like, you went to Hokkaido and then you just yeah, yeah. left. And then, <laughs> and then I froze over. Yeah. I died. You did. You did. What happened, no. man? Okay. First of all, I haven't quit YouTube. Okay. That's unfair. You heard it here. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, fam. <laughs> I didn't come back because you said that. I just never left. No, no it, it's all because of me, yeah, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next video, sponsored by Matoka. It's just been really busy because I'm working a full-time job in Japan mm -hmm. and I have been living here for two years but there's still a lot of it like adjusting still trying to make new friends get a good friend group i was telling you before i have like a good japanese speaking friend group but maybe nice to have english speaker friend group right still still trying to figure out like what hobbies i want to do and you know of course that's outside of work so mm -hmm. outside of work trying to find hobbies trying to get friends get into my groove and then edit videos which takes like tens and tens of hours mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of hard to upload frequently but it is on my mind every day. I up, I edit pretty much every day, mm -hmm. but it's just a long process. I think people also don't get like, when you do content and also have a full-time job, it's like, it's really hard. The, the overlap is just crazy. No, it's like, crazy. It's... Like when you work a full like eight hour job and mm -hmm. you go home, you, mm -hmm. you work out, you cook, and then it's your relaxation time and you're like, all right, time to work on my second job <laughs> it's really hard especially with like and and this is a little stereotypical but like a japanese job too yeah like you're putting a lot into it yeah and it's to be fair i'm not putting that much into my job <laughs> my, we'll my, cut, that my <laughs> cut that cut that <laughs> N1, right? JLPT N1. Yeah, N1. And we were talking earlier, and you were saying that it was it's still kind of hard to communicate with Japanese people or just yeah. like keep the level up. Yeah. This is just from my own mind, but I'm like, oh, N1 people, like they're on top of it. They right, know, right, they right. That's the shit. end goal. Exactly. You hit N1 and you're, you're, you're there. At right? N1, you're fluent. You're, like, you're, 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 you're a Japanese. You receive person. your Japanese passport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a citizen. <laughs> I do get that, and I thought that too. Uh huh. And it is a really like good place to be. Yeah. But it's not native level whatsoever. Like I still struggle, admittedly. It's frustrating because <laughs> I've been studying for ten years and like I have my N one. Yeah. But like uh, people like in Japan speak on like times two speed. Bro, I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're in a group, they're just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, please. Right. So it can be tough, and obviously there's a lot of slang, you know, uh -huh. and there's, they don't use textbook words, right? So that's that takes adjusting too. I've got an internet crush. She's not a celebrity, but she's taken. So can I fall in love? Your favorite YouTuber. Can't take the hint and give up. Uh, my mama told me don't talk to people you oh, haven't don't, don't quote me what if, what if i'm wrong and then everyone straight. in the comments are like <laughs> but it's not because everybody you meet is dangerous but because they'll break your heart what was the 
hardest thing for you while like adjusting to life in Japan? <clears throat> and you said that you lived in Shiga first. Yeah. And now you live in Osaka. Yeah, basically a year. So each. what in each of those areas too, what mm. was the hardest thing adjusting? Right. I mean Shiga was pretty tough. Because well, like, you had to become a ninja, right? <laughs> Exactly. You know about that. That's crazy. <laughs> they actually have like the ninja experience. Yeah, they have there. like a training program yeah, thing, yeah. kind of, right? Yeah. How do you know that? That's crazy. I, I, the, the true old I, I, <laughs> Bro, I didn't even know I, that. I make Japan content, okay. man. I, 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 I gotta know this stuff. I didn't know that until living in Shiga for six months. <laughs> this guy's true. Until you got invited got by the, the, true the ninja old, clan. He's were... got the true otaku knowledge here. <laughs> yeah. so. But I'd say the hardest part will. It was me moving to Japan for the first time. So Aww. of course that's gonna be the biggest hurdle. I guess the hardest part is like when you're moving from like Canada or like North America, wherever, like you're leaving all your family and friends behind mm -hmm. and you're just starting from absolutely nothing, mm. right? Like basically none of my friends from university or high school were here, mm -hmm. especially in Osaka, like none of them. Right, right. Or I guess Shiga when I first moved there. So you're starting from zero, mm -hmm. right? So I only had my work colleagues. So I like, I work with them. And then they're like my only friends mm -hmm. outside of work. So that was tough. Well, then also I can kind of imagine like it would be just hard to meet people in Shiga yeah, as well. Yeah, and that's, right? that's the second barrier, right? Like I lived in a small town called Hikone, which is like 100,000 people, probably a foreigner population of like five. Uh -huh. <laughs> I probably increased hey, it by 20%. Special though. <laughs> straight up, straight up. Yeah. Probably the only foreigner they've seen in their life. Dead ass. <laughs> so that was tough because I, I didn't have any friends. Luckily, like my coworkers were nice and it was mm -hmm. nice spending time with them, but mm -hmm. like I really wanted like a separate friend group and right. things to do, but you know, small town, there's not much to do mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, I'd say that was the hardest part was just building a friend group. Mm -hmm. and it's still something I'm working on too. And then when I had like a little group in Shiga, then I moved to Osaka and you gotta like start again, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's tough, but getting more accustomed to like living in Japan was a little bit easier. There's an extra uh, level of meaning to you, I think. Like you're always dragging the picture to fit the frame. Since it is like a whole thing. Right, so that you like find what you actually want. Yeah. 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 And then you can like, and it's it. very like GoPro esque too. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a 360 pace bro. Yeah. And the picture's actually pretty nice. Is it an yeah. HD? It's uh, yeah. so it's up to 8K, 20, 4K, basically. Oh, I do. Yeah. I've been with two hands and one. Welcome to my Ohage unboxing. Oh. Minasan. Also, I'm sure a lot of people want to know, yeah. how is dating in Japan? Dating in Japan? Because that is like, oh, all the comments are like, dating in Japan, get me a Japanese girlfriend. <laughs> That's yeah, now. I want a and Japanese I, yeah. wife. Yeah, yeah. I want a waifu. Yeah, a say. real life waifu. Yeah. <laughs> Just like in the anime, I want at least five. I need, <laughs> yeah. I need my own heart. Harem, yeah. <laughs> is it the same, like, as anime? Not no, quite. no, no. <laughs> but like, what's the process? Like, are everyone mm. on apps like they are everywhere there are else? Apps. Or okay, like... dating apps in Japan suck. I just gotta say that. It's mm -hmm. terrible. If you use any of the Japanese apps or like even Tinder, at least the girls will not post their face 80% uh, okay. of the time. Okay. It'll be like pancakes or uh... like V from BTS. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or Doraemon. Yeah. They will not post their face, oh, or yeah, like the back of their head. A green tea. Yeah. And they're like. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to like meet you based on this? Like it's kind of uh, hard. And there's also this like really tight culture about how dating works Yeah. in Japan. Like yeah. there's this unspoken rule that you go on three dates and then you confess on the third date and now you're dating. Ah, uh, okay. Which is a little fast for me. Like I want to get to know them a little bit more before I'm right. dating them. But in Japan, it's like three dates and like you gotta confess. But even in three dates, how much like about them do you really get? You don't. It's nothing, right? You don't. And I mean, it's not nothing, <laughs> but you if you get like their first name and maybe, <laughs> maybe if like, you're lucky, you get the last name. Yeah, and maybe their favorite color. Yeah, <laughs> so true. Like you don't even get like, you know, how their name is written in kanji until no, like yeah. you're married. Yeah. 
<laughs> and, then, and then you're like, okay, I should probably know this. Yeah, well, because, you know, it's going to be on your nameplate, so, yeah. or your house. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, no, for the, I mean, for three dates, like, you don't really know who they are. And they can put on the, the show, right? In uh, Japan? Yeah. Good word to know. Neko o kaburu. Like, literally, it means to, like, put the cap uh, on. okay. But it means to, like, put up a good front. Yeah. Like, it's not your true self, but you're just kind of, like, being your, like, your perfect self uh -huh. for the other person. You can do that for three dates, no problem. Come on. Bye. We think is ego uchi uchu maybe. What do you think? What I think. I have no opinion. <laughs> I have no when, opinion. I have no brain. When cells. Matoka <laughs> skillfully de de deduce. Matoka's brain dead, guys. Matoka died. The, the latte will bring you back. But I also haven't like gone out of my way to meet them either. Right. Because right. I'm trying to improve my Japanese. Right? Exactly. So I'm exactly. not. I'm not trying to like. Foreigners are a crutch. Yeah, they are a crutch. <laughs> They're, they're holding me back. Exactly, exactly. Are they looking for marriage? Or are they looking for like... That's another like, one. What, oh my where? God, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. Maybe, okay. Where, where are they just, looking Just dating for? as a straight that man is... in Japan. Yeah, like a lot of women are gunning for marriage really early as well. Okay. Like a lot younger than North America. I feel like in North America, there's this movement like, oh, like I'm a boss bitch. Like I don't need no man until like you yeah. know, I'm in my thirties. Like yeah. I'm independent, strong. In Japan, it's like, I got to get married by like 26 or uh... like I'm too old. And that's just like really a lot of pressure, right? Cause you date someone who's like, say like mid twenties and they're like, okay, so like, where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? like, um, yeah. not where you want it to go anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Right. So unfortunately there's a lot of pressure to like, get married earlier from the, from the Japanese women as well. I mean, for some people, I'm sure that enlightens them in the good kind of way because right. they want to get married. I guess so, but please you know, like but know it, who they are first. Yeah, it's dangerous when you have that like set goal too. Yeah, it's, it's like, like an there, agenda. Right? And there are so many steps that you skip along the way. Yeah. You gotta know them first. Yeah. At least for me, I'd, I'd like to like fully know what I'm getting into before yeah. considering marriage. Yeah. Yeah. But about like the three date rule and then like dating, uh -huh. like I haven't done that. I still like to get to know them first. Like I've never dated someone after three dates. Mm -hmm. Just actually get to know them first. Well, and, and do they respect that and be like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah. he's a foreigner, so they get a yeah, pass? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. or. I mean, I think I've also like dated women who are more like open minded. Naturally, yeah. yeah, like just by natural selection, the people who are going to date foreigners are usually a little bit more open minded. They've studied abroad. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, it's not like, hey, third day, like, where is my confession? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So I think there is a bit of a leeway for that as well. OK. Yeah. But maybe just an expectation to be aware of that some people might yeah. be looking for that confession. All right. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for visiting me. Of course. Thanks for coming awesome. all the way to Japan just to interview me. I mean, I am your number one fan. If I didn't do this. That's commitment. Yeah. That does prove you're number one. So that guy that came up to you on the street saying that he was your fan, <laughs> I'm better, right? Yeah, because yeah. you came all the way here just for I me. I did, I did. He, I was just, he just camera, happened to be I'm here. making content, you know, yeah. yeah. True commitment. I, I, I found you. Yeah. <laughs> that is hustle. <laughs> Looked at my address and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said like if I, if I didn't do this interview, he would not let me let me go. Yeah, knocked on your door this morning just yeah. to get you out here. Yeah, I I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, it's your fault because you don't make videos. True. Yeah, I did do it to myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut. <laughs> Before you get into. If you want to see more clips and behind the scenes like this, because in North America you can just like talk to someone on the street. Yeah. Or like. If you're in a bar, you can just like meet up, be like homies. Mm -hmm. A little bit harder in Japan. Then make sure to check out my Patreon. Thanks, guys.